Yes, yes, I know, you're probably tired of hearing of triple overlapping low temperature diamonds hotspot by now, but this one is quite interesting because this is actually the best one we have seen so far. Today's video is sponsored by Secret Lab. We all strive for the best possible gaming experience, but the importance of a good quality chair is often underestimated. Secret Lab produces some of the most comfortable and high quality gaming chairs you can get. So upgrade your commander chair today and fly in style and comfort. Follow the link in the video description to their store, type in your height, your weight, and it will tell you which chairs fit you for the best possible seating experience. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Elite Dangerous Without Worth Astronomy. So I'm going to try to keep this video brief. I just quickly want to get you guys up to speed. So far, we have had two good overlaps with low temperature diamonds. One out in the coal sector, there was a what we call mediums overlap. Then we had one out in this Swally systems where there was actually a quadruple overlap. But there was also a very strong triple overlap that did get better yields than the one in the coal sector. Problem was the one out in the Swally area was like 1,200 light years out from, uh, from the sun. Whereas the one in the coal sector was, I think, 340 something. However, this new one is located in HIP 4351, also in the description. This hotspot was originally posted over on the Elite Miners subreddit by Mitron735. It's actually 312 light years away from Seoul, so even closer than the one in the coal sector. Moving into the system, we go to Planet 10, where we will here find the triple overlap. If we just quickly mark the center points of each overlap and overlay the different areas with the outer ring here indicating the outer perimeter of the hotspot and the green areas indicating the what we call the core area or the center area of the overlaps. And we can see here we actually have what seems like to be at least two of the hotspots being inside the triple overlap area. This makes this a very strong overlap and as we'll see in the run here in a second it also gives very good results. So here we are at the beginning of my little trial run I did at this location. And as you can see here, starting with an empty cargo hold apart from limpets, I will be running for half an hour. It's the same ship, same mining methods, same mining techniques that I've been using in the previous ones so that they are comparable. We are going to be looking at the tons you can mine per hour. It makes absolutely no sense to talk about credits per hour when you talk about mining because it depends so much on what situation you're in. Do you have a fleet carrier? And if you do, do you only count the time it takes to go and store the fleet carrier because you need to sell it in order to transfer it to money? So do you then also have to calculate the jump time in and then offloading it at the other end? And if you don't have a fleet carrier, then it, it because the distance, it's so dependent on your jump range. So therefore, I will boil it down to its key performing indicators by it just being the tons you can mine per hour spent in this hotspot. And here you can see the results after exactly 30 minutes in the ring, I managed to collect 276 tons of low temperature diamonds. And as always, I've used no like haggy exploiting method by resetting asteroid. This is straight up honest mining, just going from rock to rock to rock and mining. And as you can see, you can be very effective. This is actually the best result I've had yet on a single run. Again, this could just be an anomaly, but it's still a record for me. And yielding you over 500 tons per hour if you mine here effectively in a good ship. By the way, if you're interested in the ship build, I do have a video about it up here. You can find that in the more info icon. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give a like, subscribe, and also next time, I will see you guys in space.